A deadly crash backs the traffic for miles on I-64. We're live in Bath County with a look at the cleanup and the investigation. Another suspect may be on the run in Brussels. I'm Kenneth Craig with a look at who investigators are searching for coming up. We're going to be tracking some very gusty winds and maybe even a strong or severe thunderstorm out there this evening. I'll break it all down coming up. This is WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. Part of Interstate 64 remains closed here at midday after a deadly crash. It happened about 7 o'clock this morning in the westbound lanes near the Bath Rowan County line. Now, state police say witnesses say it looked like a car blew a tire and was hit by a semi. The driver was killed. WKYT's Mark Barber is live in Bath County now with the latest on the investigation. It's our top story at noon. Good afternoon, Barbara. One of the westbound lanes here is still closed as crews work to clear the mangled wreck. They think it could take a few more hours until they're able to reopen this last lane that is closed because they say they still have to tow away that wrecked semi and they also have to clean up a lot of the diesel fuel that spilled onto the area here beside the interstate. Now, state police are here. They are working uh, right beside those cleanup crews as they continue their investigation into this crash that killed one man and injured two others. The deadly rack happened. The, rather, the deadly wreck happened around 7 this morning near the Bath Rowan County line, backing up traffic on the interstate for miles. Dispatchers say the traffic trouble started when a tractor trailer slammed into a car that was stopped in the fast lane. Witnesses told state police that the car appeared to blow a flat tire before the crash. The driver of the car died in the wreck. The coroner has not identified him yet, but he tells me it appears as if the man is from Lexington. The second man who was in the car was flown to UK hospital in critical condition. The driver of the semi, a man from Tennessee, was taken to a hospital in Moorhead, but he was not seriously hurt. State police say they are still trying to determine whether someone is to blame for the fatal crash or whether this was just a terrible accident. If uh, our reconstruction has found out that, that one of the drivers were negligent, uh, then there could possibly be, possibly be charges, but for right now, I don't see any, any pending. State police say they will not leave the scene here until they're able to walk away with detailed information for the families who will certainly want answers. As far as the lane closure goes, once more, they're hoping to have everything back open here on the westbound lanes of I-64 near mile 19, or rather 128 in the next few hours. Live in Bath County, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. Now, we're told that diesel fuel spill does not pose a threat to the environment. Drivers who want to avoid backups are encouraged to take the detour at exit 133. You may have already noticed strong winds are pushing some showers and storms into the bluegrass for this afternoon. Some of those could be strong or severe in nature. WKYT meteorologist Jim Caldwell is tracking the threat on our first alert defender network. And right now, so far, things are pretty quiet precipitation wise, but those winds are howling out there right now as we're pushing into the mid 20s. We're talking 20 plus miles per hour as far as your sustained wind. That's the average wind over two minutes. So, really starting to howl out there. Look at some of these wind gusts coming in now. Better than 40 miles per hour here in Lexington. So we're going to see those gusts continue throughout the next several hours here as a wind advisory is in place. That's to address all of those winds that are driving these showers and thunderstorms into the area. There you see that first little bit of precipitation closing in on Louisville. Even more to come later, and some of those might have those stronger characteristics. We'll track them hour by hour with a new model run coming up in just a few minutes. Okay, see you shortly. Investigators in Belgium are looking for a second suspect in the Brussels subway bombing. And they also say a nuclear power plant could have been a potential target. Kenneth Craig has the latest from Brussels. CBS News has learned the terror attacks were originally planned for Easter Monday, March 28th, but were moved up after police captured Paris terror suspect Salah Abdeslam in Brussels last week. Investigators are now hunting for a second suspect in the subway bombing. Belgian media published a sketch of a man who was seen speaking with suspect Khalid El Bakrawi at the station before he detonated a suicide bomb. Khalid's brother Ibrahim blew himself up at the airport. Both men have also been linked to a plan to target a nuclear power plant in Belgium. 
Many here in Brussels are pointing fingers at authorities for failing to prevent the attacks. Belgium's interior minister offered his resignation after Turkey revealed that one of the brothers was flagged as a terrorist. It was the worst day in my life. Journalist Kate Cardava was at the airport when the bombs went off and took photos in the immediate aftermath, including of Sebastian Bellin, who spoke to CBS News from his hospital bed. The gratitude is what I feel the most about how, how I made it. <laughs> For me, I think that it was very important to take pictures, these eight pictures, uh, to show everyone what was uh, uh, after two explosions. Kate says she heard from the brother of another victim. He said her photo gave him the welcome news that his sister was alive. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Brussels. The lawyer for Paris suspect Salah Absalom says he is not fighting extradition to France and wants to leave Brussels as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, false hope is leading to frustration for the families of a Lexington native and her husband. Justin and Stephanie Schultz were in Brussels airport when two suicide bomber, bombers blew themselves up, killing dozens. The couple is still missing. Justin's brother thought the search finally ended yesterday when the family was told the couple had been found alive. But they later learned that information was incorrect. WKYT's Michelle... Uh, Chamberlain is at the live desk now with reaction from his mother. Michelle? Yes, Barbara. And following yesterday's disheartening news, Justin's mom is obviously distraught. She wants to find Justin and Stephanie, and she's heading to Belgium in hopes to get answers to their whereabouts. Justin's been wanting me to come to Brussels and see him, but this is not the way that I wanted to go see him. <laughs> Sheila Shell is heading to Brussels today to look for her son Justin and his wife, Lexington native Stephanie Schultz. The two have been missing since the terrorist attacks in the Brussels airport more than 48 hours ago. A couple was waiting inside the airport to drop off Stephanie's mom when the two bombs went off. During an interview before her flight yesterday, Sheila said she had just turned on the news Tuesday morning to discover the terror taking place in Belgium. She then returned a missed call to Stephanie's dad. His phone call that day, she'll never forget. They're there and we can't find them. And I said, who? And he said, Justin and Stephanie. We can't find them. She can't find them. The blast happened just in a matter of seconds. One minute, you know, they were there and then they weren't. And we've been searching and looking for them ever since. A nightmare situation for a mother, and now Sheila is just hoping for the best possible outcome. Hopefully, he'll have his big smile on his face. You guys have probably seen pictures of him, and he's going to be okay. What do you now we are told that Stephanie's dad is also planning on traveling to Brussels to help in the search for his daughter and son-in-law. At the live desk, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. Michelle, thank you. And the family says it is important to have feet on the ground in Brussels because the government is not allowing hospitals to release information over the phone about whether they're treating a patient or not. For the latest on the Brussels attacks, go to WKYT.com. You can also find updates on the WKYT news app. Other news at noon. It's a historic day for the city of Lexington. Mayor Jim Gray has named the city's new fire chief. She is Kristen Chilton, the first woman to hold the top job with the Lexington Fire Department. WKYT's Kristen Kennedy is live now with what we're learning about her. Kristen? Bill, Kristen Chilton joined the Lexington Fire Department 23 years ago. Mayor Jim Gray said her broad range of experience was something he considered when appointing her the new fire chief. Chief Chilton said today she first became interested in firefighting during a visit to Fire Station 1 as part of a first aid class at Transylvania University. That day she met Lexington's first female firefighter and paramedic. That woman, Lisa Daly, was one of many present during the mayor's announcement this morning. Chilton is Lexington's first female fire chief. Individual commitment to a group effort. Everyone benefits when everyone contributes, and that what makes Lexington a great community, one that I'm proud to serve. Thank you. Chilton has a bachelor's degree from Transylvania University, a master's degree from Eastern Kentucky, and is certified as an emergency medical technician and a hazardous materials specialist. Bill, back to you.
All right, quite a list of uh, credentials and experience, certainly. Well, Chief Chilton starts immediately. She takes over for Interim Chief Harold Hoskins. Well, we're almost four months into the year, and Madison County has already seen at least 18 overdose deaths. The number of Narcan uh, that is being used, uh, the amount of that is uh, reviving overdose victims. Uh, that's what it's used for. It is more than doubled from 2014 to 2015. Officials say this problem is now pouring into neighboring Garrett County, where the coroner there has also seen three overdose deaths this year. And I don't know what's, what lies ahead, but I've got to prepare for it. Um, and this doesn't sound very... Uh, politically correct, but I actually uh, was looking, checking into getting more body bags, you know, um, because I don't know what I'm going to have to face over the next coming months and years. Certainly a jarring interview tonight on WKYT News at 6, what the Madison County and Garrett County coroners are doing to try to fight back and stop these overdose deaths. Well, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray and UK Hoops coach Matthew Mitchell are teaming up to get the city ready for a weekend of basketball action. The mayor proclaimed this is Blue and White Weekend. The proclamation urges the Big Blue Nation to wear your best blue and white each day to show support for the UK women's team as they battle in the Sweet 16 and Elite 8 in Rupp Arena. Coach Mitchell was honored to receive the plaque and calls Lexington the best city in the nation. So I'm excited for these. Uh, three great universities that are joining us, University of Washington, uh, Stanford University, and Notre Dame University. We hope that they have a wonderful time this weekend uh, out and about in our city. We hope they have a real hard time on the basketball court. The U.K. women will take on the Washington Huskies in the Sweet 16 tomorrow night at Rupp Arena. Tip-off set for at 7 o'clock on ESPN2. All right. Well said by the coach there. President Obama pays tribute to victims of Argentina's dirty war during a visit in Buenos Aires. We will have more on the historic visit coming up on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, a Grammy Award winner is coming back to his roots and is expected to receive a warm welcome home from his fans. We'll have more on the free Chris Stapleton concert in Eastern Kentucky next on WKYT. Want to be part of the new Big Brother? Here's your chance to make this dream come true. Friday, March 25th, WKYT will be holding an open casting call at the Sleep Outfitters in Woodhill Shopping Center. Think you have what it takes to be HOH? Or can you float your way to the top? This will be your opportunity to show Big Brother your big personality and tell them why you should be on summer's hottest reality show. WKYT presents the Big Brother Casting Call, March 25th from noon until 4 at the Sleep Outfitters in Woodhill Shopping Center. Social security is sometimes the only thing that stands between having a roof over your head, food on the table, and being homeless. At Morgan & Morgan, we have a social security section devoted to helping you. Whether you're applying for benefits or been denied, I invite you to visit ForThePeople.com and learn more. When you visit, you can learn what benefits you're entitled to and what injuries and mental illnesses qualify for both social security and VA benefits. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. You're always a winner at America's Window. Why don't you call right now for beautiful windows that look like this. Whatever size you need, bay, bow, double hung, slider. Remember, the glass in our windows goes through an 11-step process to make it the most energy efficient glass in the state. Call right now, 1-800-861-4153 for a free estimate. Or come by and see us at 1190 East New Circle Road right here in town. Check us out on the web at americaswindowusa.com and check this out. It's our slam dunk sale only at America's Window. Get $150 off per window. Now's the time to get new windows in your home and say big. Affordable finance plans, if you act now, receive an additional 5% off your total window purchase. Call 1-800-861-4153 or check us out on the web at americaswindowusa.com. Get new windows now. Remember, you're always a winner here at America's Window. Sleep is a critical component of our athletic training at UK. Our sleep experts are the champions at matching our customers to the best bed for them. This week at Sleep Outfitters, get a free TV with qualifying purchase, like this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam, now only $4.99, plus a free TV. Go to sleepoutfitters.com for store locations and hours. Sleep Outfitters, official sleep provider of UK athletics.
Sleep like a champion, play like a champion. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. Australian and Malaysian officials say it is highly likely that two pieces of debris recently discovered along the coast of Mozambique are from the missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Australia's transport minister says an analysis shows both pieces are consistent with panels from a Malaysia Airlines Boeing 777 aircraft. It, it disappeared in March 2014 with 239 people on board. The first family is in Argentina this midday following the historic trip to Cuba. President Obama visited a memorial this morning on the 40th anniversary of a coup that led to military rule and the killing and disappearing of thousands of Argentines. During a state dinner last night, President Obama was invited to tango. He was hesitant at first, but eventually the president gave in and showed off his best moves there on the floor. Hollywood is taking a stand against a proposed law in Georgia that would let individuals and businesses withhold services from same-sex couples. Both Disney and Marvel say they will no longer film in the state if the governor signs the bill into law. And the NFL has said the law could keep Atlanta from hosting a Super Bowl in the future. Well, there's a great disturbance in the force with the latest Star Wars movie that is turning up on some piracy sites. The Force Awakens is scheduled to be released as a digital download a week from tomorrow. But the Blu-ray edition released, uh, it would be released four days later than that. But a privacy publication says 25,000 people downloaded the illegal Blu-ray quality version within the first 12 hours of it being online. Well, Grammy award-winning singer Chris Stapleton will return to his hometown in eastern Kentucky tonight to play a free concert for fans. He'll perform at Johnson Central High School in Paintsville. The school's principal says Stapleton is also donating $60,000 worth of musical instruments to the Johnson Central Band. Now, meanwhile, Stapleton will go to the Academy of Country Music Awards next week, knowing he's already a winner. In early awards announced by the ACMs, he was named Best New Male Artist of the Year. I'm Phil Pendleton in Boyle County at 1230. We're learning a lot of new information about a former Danville officer involved in a violent crash. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 981 The Bull. It's the Shoe Carnival Spring Sale. Shop our huge selection of name brand athletics for $59.98. The latest van styles at $49.98. Plus, buy one, get one half off, even on sale prices. Shop Shoe Carnival today. Shoe Carnival, a surprise in store. Blue Cross Medical Aesthetics wants to help you on the path to wellness and healthy youthful aging. Hormone replacement, medically supervised weight loss, Botox, Kybella, and more. Located in Georgetown next to Qdoba. Visit us at bmaky.com. Our city is like one big machine with thousands of moving parts. LexTrend keeps more of those parts moving than most of us realize. Moving thousands of people a day to and from places of education or employment or enjoyment. Days and nights, rain or shine, weekdays and weekends, Sundays and holidays. So whether you ride the bus or not, you can count on the fact that many of the people you count on count on LexTrend. All across America, families are coming back to Time Warner Cable for a whole new experience. We came back for internet speed so fast, even the kids are impressed. Oh, she's impressed. We're catching up on movies and shows on demand just as fast as we can watch them. TWC's home Wi-Fi is so strong, we can use all our devices at the same time. Come back today. You'll get 30 meg internet, TV, phone, and more for $89.99 a month. And ask how you could get a $300 reward card. Call now. EKU Center for the Arts presents opera star Kathleen Battle performing Underground Railroad, A Spiritual Journey, April 16th. Featuring renowned pianist Joel Martin and the American Spiritual Ensemble. For tickets, visit EKUCenter.com. You're always a winner at America's Window. Give your home an energy upgrade with new windows from us. Take a look. Whatever size you need, bay, bow, double hung, slider, call in now. You'll love the ease of operation. And it's easy to save during our slam dunk sale. $150 off per window. Affordable finance plans to fit your budget. And if you act right now, receive an additional 5% off your total window purchase. You're always a winner at America's Window. It's the Shoe Carnival Spring Sale. Shop our huge selection of the latest Madden Girl styles for $34.98. 
strappy sandals for $24.98. Plus, buy one, get one half off, even on sale prices. Shop Shoe Carnival today. Shoe Carnival, a surprise in store. Want to be part of the new Big Brother? Yeah! Go to WKYT.com and apply today. Now, your Zone by Zone forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. Tracking clouds and a lot of wind in the area right now, and eventually that will lead to showers and some thunderstorms. We look to the outside, then we can check our current conditions, and you can see what the skies look like here in Lexington, and that is pretty cloudy. Check it out here as we go to our live sky cam so you can see exactly what we're looking at. 66 degrees, clouds off in the distance, and sustained winds coming in around 24 miles per hour. And remember, that's the wind that just continuously blows right at you. Some of the wind gusts out there, more impressive, pushing 40 miles per hour here in Lexington, Frankfurt, and beyond in some cases. So we get the best concentration of stronger winds now pushing its way through the area. And that's helping enhance our temperatures into the mid and upper 60s in some cases already for our friends in eastern Kentucky, showing up in the low 70s out ahead of this system. We're all going to get rid of that, though. Look behind the front. Got an area of low pressure, trailing cold front, and a lot of cool air that's going to be pooling in, just rolling in behind it, and will take over as you're looking at 40s and 30s there. For tomorrow, highs in the upper 40s and low 50s uh, throughout most of the area. Showers and a few thunderstorms attached to this, not seeing quite as much lightning with that leading line now. There's another line that develops and that will sweep through the area with that frontal boundary. Here's the current setup with all of this. What you've got is that front that'll drive into the area that'll bump up those chances of showers and storms. And essentially, that's the setup there with better chances of stronger, severe storms to our south. This is a high resolution model. We'll watch what happens here by about 3 o'clock. Some heavier stuff trying to get into central Kentucky and perhaps even that stronger line of thunderstorms coming together around Louisville at 5 o'clock. And then we'll continue to work into the area here in a weaker dose, of course. We'll go cool Friday, and we're right back into the warm stuff this weekend. Stay right there. We've got more for you coming up. It's time to wake up. You've got things to do, mouths to feed, work to get done. It's another Kentucky morning, and Kentucky mornings start here. Good morning. I'm Bill Bryan. And I'm Rebecca Smith. You don't have time to waste, so we don't waste your time. Simple as that. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. After you're injured at work, a lot of times the insurance company will attempt to call you, take statements. Don't speak to them until you speak with an experienced workers' compensation attorney. The insurance company will attempt to settle your case for pennies on the dollar. Before you talk to the insurance company, call us first. Our job is to make sure you get all the money you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Honey, would some Captain D's make you feel better? Yeah. When you love seafood this much... Back again? I hope it's just a clumsy phase. It's got to be D's. Anything's worth it for our new homestyle flounder meal or double dozen shrimp. Also, try our grilled menu featuring new Tuscan tilapia. For full meals starting at just $4.99, it's got to be D's. So, you've got these projects on your list. You've been wanting to update your kitchen, organize your closets, and build the backyard oasis of your dreams. But where do you start? Well, projects solved. The Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show is here. Need a reliable contractor? You'll find them at the show. Need a landscaping pro? They're here too. Bring photos of your projects and meet with the experts. Then compare and save with exclusive show-only deals. There's only one place to find it all next weekend at the Lexington Center. You're always a winner at America's Window. Give your home an energy upgrade with new windows from us. Take a look. Whatever size you need, bay, bow, double hung, slider, call in now. You'll love the ease of operation. And it's easy to save during our slam dunk sale. $150 off per window. Affordable finance plans to fit your budget. And if you act right now, receive an additional 5% off your total window purchase. You're always a winner at America's Window. Happy Easter with a little help from Kroger. 
and save on everything you need for a beautiful day. Treat your guests to private selection spiral sliced ham for just $1.79 a pound. And whole pineapples are 99 cents each. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. We've all heard that saying, there's no place like home. And as they enter the NCAA Sweet 16 tomorrow night, Matthew Mitchell hopes there's no home court like the crowd he's hoping is on hand at Rupp Arena. Mitchell has been doing everything possible to get people to come and fill the place as Kentucky takes on seven-seated Washington. And I mean, think about it. How big an advantage would it be to basically play a home game with a trip to the Elite Eight on the line? You know, the home court didn't do much for us last year versus Dayton. So a court doesn't really do it for you. Uh, didn't do much for Arizona State. Didn't do much for uh, Maryland. You know, I mean, it's you, you have to play. Um, would it be exciting for us if we get rolling and playing well? We'll, we'll could we have some added uh, juice in the building because it's us, of course. Of course, you see the Cats just finishing their open workout down at Rupp Arena. We'll hear more from the coach later. Kentucky and Washington in the Sweet 16 tomorrow night at 7 on ESPN2. Semifinals of the CBI tournament. Moorhead State playing on the road at Ohio last night. A chance to play in the championship series on the line. How about Lionel Gaines slashing into the lane? 17-14 Moorhead. Eagles turn it up defensively. Ronnie Beeman with a steal. He goes in for the layup, and that's a seven-point Moorhead lead. How about Anthony Alici? And then knocking down the jumper as he spots up. The Eagles go up by eight. They led by five at the halftime. How about into the second half? Moorhead down one. Brent Arrington, steal, lays it in. Eagles go one up. Moorhead down by a point. 3.34 to go. Corbin Collins delivers from long range. 63 61 Moorhead. 154 left. Game tied at 65. Collins, how about another bomb? He's almost on the bench. Moorhead on top for good, 77 to 72 the final. The Eagles are in the CBI championship. They will play Nevada on Monday night. That'll take place in Moorhead. Much more on that coming up tonight on the Big Blue Insider with Dick Gabriel. UK women's coach Matthew Mitchell will preview this weekend's NCA regional. That's at 6 on 630 WLAP. And guys, that's a look at sports on your Thursday. All right. Thank you so much. And hope you'll stay with us. And there's more to come in our next half hour of WKYT News at noon. Investigators are on the hunt for a second unidentified suspect in connection to the explosions in Belgium. The recent terror attack in Brussels has some rethinking their travel plans. What insurance will cover coming up at 1230? Tomorrow night's Mega Millions jackpot is $35 million, and Saturday night's Powerball jackpot is $101 million.